Oh, we're gonna ambush you. You finished Battle Chasers? It's a really fun game, Rylar. I gotta get back to it at some point. Yeah, Chaos Order, it's 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 a great game. I'm gonna try this out. Alright, it does decently. What a waste of life. Is the, are they really alive? Are they though? Is it really a waste? Taking life does not heal my soul. Hey, great doodad, what's up? Happy Friday to you. Well, there's another group over here. Oh no, no, I want to ambush. Yes. Definitely if important. You insist. Definitely important to ambush when there's this many of them. What is he summoning now? Oh, she's summoning this guy. Okay, he goes next. Uh May your soul find rest in the afterlife. Probably two left. Skull helmet. I think we have one of those already. Oh, well, we can go right into the mountain there. Did anybody see patch notes for Operencia from, uh, because there was a small patch and I, I'm noticing, I'm noticing these things on the, uh, the map more now. I wonder if that was a change they made or not. Yeah. Great Dude says, I'm waiting the delivery of my RAM. Also a bit excited this weekend. Someone I met in Guild Wars and Twitch is meeting me IRL and he's coming to help me assemble my PC. Then we're going for the best burger in Montreal. Nice. That's super cool. Yeah. What is the retweet command? Touch type X page point retweet. Okay. We're in the wine cellar now. Find the nimble boots. Okay, that's interesting. Hey, Alaska, what did you miss? We met with the god Hadur, who is telling us that we can't attack the dragon yet because we need him to forge a special armor and a special axe is required to get the material to get the special armor but we also need boots that's what you missed good soul also informed me that hadur knows more of this quest than he leads on he's been watching since the lake oh my god i do not know what that means that's the beginning i might he's been watching since the beginning place item Place item, place item, place item. Okay. We got a big old puzzle here. Big puzzle. Castle. Forest. Tree. Broken. I think we have another test on our hands from Hador. One of our memory. Do these portraits seem eerily familiar? Those are places we've been, Mushroom right? Meze. You'll know what I mean the best. Yes. I see what you mean. Oh, yeah. Me too. Obvious. OK. 
Okay, is this the order of the the places we've been? They will let us out, okay. Let's see what's this way. We can make this grow, right? Let it grow. Secret, secret. We found a secret. Hey, now we're up above. Oh, I want to ambush. Let's get the ambush before he turns around. Yes. Nope. Zapperoni. No! I'm gonna get four of them to hit me? Oh no. That was a mistake. Mistakes were made. I should have done an AoE because there were so many at low health. Jerks. Abracadabra. Hey. Okay, so ah! <laughs> Thief boots. These boots are made for thieving. Agility initiative. Ooh, initiative. A smooth pair of boots probably stolen. Chila? There you go. Oh, look, we made a set of stairs. Ah! Okay, oh my god, I thought I just walked off into the lava. Alright, so we found a secret there, and then we can go back up, right? I did, Alaska. We went back and opened up uh, a couple of previous god doors. We did. Shield, really? Really? That's what you gave me? Ew! Ew! Sweet. And last but not least. Will it let you walk in the lava? No, but it was scary. It was scary. Have fun trying to open that without the right key. Hey! What? And we don't have the right key. What? Okay, can't go that way yet. Let's go try the big puzzle, I guess. I don't think, I we, I think we got something cool. We, we started to work on uh, a couple of new sets. We've got the Gonsol set, which we have three pieces of now. And we started to work on the Hadour set, which we have three, three pieces of. We have the ax, the helmet, and the boots. So a couple more sets. All right, let's start working on this puzzle. Um, 
what was the first? So the first zone we went to. That's a broken. So there's a portal, broken castle, forest, forest. I don't know. Tomb, tomb painting. Oh, uh, added to inventory. Castle painting, forest painting, world tree painting, copper forest, portal, and desolate forest. I don't know. I'm thinking... First, there was... The desolate forest. First. I don't know. Desolate fortress. Next, we went to the tomb. Then we found the forest. After the forest, there was a castle. After that, we went through a portal to the world tree, and then we found the copper There's forest. There's a proper order here. <laughs> That's not the proper order? What? Open the door. Your way to do it. Where's the world map? Journal. Locations. Okay, so. What was first? The sunken castle at Lake Alna was first. Which one of these is a sunken castle? Castle painting? Sunken castle was first. This one. There's a proper order here. Okay, so sunken castle being first. Right? Then, what was next? After we did the sunken castle of Lake Anna, we went to... What was first? Uh, Diva, Diva Fortress? No, I think... I can't remember! I can't remember! Is it the Great Forest? Uh, and then the tomb? I don't remember! <laughs> I don't remember the order. Yes! It's our adventure so far. Yes, I see it. See, I was, it was pretty the lack damn of close. Sharp vegetation that threw me. I didn't nord it. I had a lot of them in the right order. Yes. Okay. Surprise. I like how two seconds ago I said I have no idea, and then I took credit for solving it. I like that. <laughs> No one lives forever. Asius Goblin Pie. Furred gloves. They're fur red gloves. Kind of like infrared, but they're fur red. They are. They sure are comfortable in these cold, sunless days. Okay, Bog Otter. Gain a level. And Meze. Gain a level. Bog Otter, Bug Otter. Let's do the lightning. Lightning damage up. Nice. Oh, what's this spell? Your underworld skills now have 30% fear chance. Do I even cast underworld spells? What is an underworld spell? Yeah, we don't have any of those. Because they're all in the middle tree. They're all these here. I didn't pick those. Oh, well. And Meze. 
Five more hit rating. Oh, he's got the dark aura too. Does he have underworld spells? This one, brute force, I think is. When you take crit damage, you get 30% block chance for two turns. The party gets 15% hit bonus for three turns if you taunt an enemy. Okay. When you heal, get 15% defense. You don't see any patch notes? I didn't either. Thanks for looking, though. It wasn't a big patch, so... It's probably pretty minor, overall. As a creature of Illuminance, I sense the matching of light will allow us to progress from here. There was a small patch, Alaska, for this game. We have to match the lights? All right, let's map the whole room out a little bit. See what we're dealing with. Control lights. Light. It's moving with each step we take. What? The huh? Lights. They move as we do. Oh, I see. Oh no. Okay. Oh no, those aren't right. Hold on. Release the lights. Control the lights. Now they're now they're together, right? We come together like Shamalama Ding and Dong. Ickity poop to poop. Oh no, they're they're there. What? I thought I had them together. Ah. Are they not together now? Are they together? I can't tell. Elden says, what is your take on the complexity of the puzzles? I do not find them as annoying as I've seen in some of your other games, but I am not a fan of puzzles. Uh, for the most part, they're pretty, they're pretty uh, straightforward and not overly complex. The finding of the three keys in the copper forest, the four keys in the copper forest, that was tough. I don't know if that was really a puzzle as much as a scavenger hunt. But. All right. Didn't she say to bring the two things to light together? Or maybe we have to match these with the, these portals. Oh, that's what we need to do. I'm stupid. I thought, I thought we were going to have... Um, I thought we had to match the two light ones together and then match the two purple ones together some other way. No, we have to get both of those at the same time. Oops. Huh. Mm -hmm. 
We have to split them up one more level. No! I want you to be further apart. Ah! I put them closer together. Oh, there we go. And scene. Incredible. By completing this task, I feel somehow more complete myself. Ta-da. Okay. There we go. On the road again. I just can't wait to be on the road again. Any secrets here? Oh, what are we fighting? Oh no, they get to go first. Jerks. Hey, your heart, what's up? Zapperoni. It is done. What's done is done. May your souls never see the light of the upper world. She said the upper world. It's a Busby. Furred headgear popular with horsemen. It's a Busby. Ever install any dragon head death traps in the castles you build, Keller? Many dragon heads like this. None designed for lethal means. Though I must admit, the design makes for a remarkable architectural achievement. Oh. Pardon me while I choose to instead admire the pretty colors that likely have something to do with getting us out of this. Okay. What's this? Metal mask added to your inventory. You can muzzle them? Can we muzzle them? Yes. Muzzle certain ones. Muzzle! No? Okay. I'm gonna get hurt in here. We're gonna get roasted. Muzzle! Why aren't you matching the colors? Even I know this one. Matching the colors? What are you talking about? Ow! Matching the colors. Purple. Can I move this? Oh, we gotta use the. Uh, I know. I know. We gotta move it with the feather. Ah! That one closed its mouth. We need a blue one. Blue. Okay. We need a white one. Where's the red? How can we spin it? Ow! Ow! How do we spin this thing? So that one closed, that one closed. Wait. This is the red. Purple. All right, so we've got blue, purple, red, and white, is it? One more time. Match the colors. 
metal mask. I gotta put the mass seal back on. Okay. So, I don't understand how to spin this thing. So there's something I'm not getting. So let's see, we, we, we put this here, we get the purple. If I get the purple here, he closes his mouth. But if it hits anything else the wrong way, then uh, it closes again. So put it here. All right, we got two of them closed. Now, there's got to be something with the mask, right? If I mask this one, does that turn a different one red? It shouldn't. All right, we have to get the red one by putting it over here. Okay, where's the white one? The white one's all the way over here. Okay. There goes the red one. Let's make sure we don't get it hit over here. White one is here. Hey, Grimmy, what's up? Got I it. do love the sound of a door opening slowly and noisily. It almost means something good awaits us on the other side. Or it's a huge monster we didn't know existed about to reveal itself. True. Yes, and often both. <laughs> An orphan booth. Happy weekend, Krimi. Oh, look at the boots. Are they just dancing? Look, they're dancing themselves. Chainmail. Hadwar's gauntlet. Alright, we got another set item. From Meze. What did we get? Gloves? Alright, so now we can get the strength. Plus 10. Nice. Boop. Let's see if Kayla can use the old gloves. Nah, they're not that great. Not that good. Meze. Alright, here they are. See? Something good. A perfect fit, too. Only one of us needs to wear it. Its magic will make all companions just as swift of foot. Convenient. Now, let's walk through that portal and find that axe. A humble suggestion before we step through. Don't forget that treasure. Miss that gets all the good stuff? Kayla gained a level. All right. So now we've got nimble boots. Slow down the surroundings and move faster than anything that gets in your way. So you actually don't have to wear them. These reckless boots grant you the ability to slow down your surroundings and move faster. Okay. Sweet. Waleed, hello, Bog, how are you doing? I haven't seen much of this playthrough, sadly, but it looks interesting. How would you compare it to Bar's Tale 4? Very similar to Bar's Tale 4. Turn-based combat, lots of puzzles. Um, I say this is a little bit more polished than Bar's Tale 4. 
You know I love me some Bard's Tale 4, but when we played it, there were definitely some hang-ups and issues that we were experiencing um, with it. But if you like one, you'll like the other. It's really, really hard to kind of differentiate them. Hey, Pride Claw, what's up? Um, sorry, Mr. Stream of Sekiro. I guess you beat the game. I didn't beat the game. No, no, we uh, we have played like four or five uh, days of it. We're gonna re we're gonna return to Se Sekiro probably on Monday. Um, and for those of you uh, who missed any Sekiro streams, we're putting the whole playthrough up on YouTube. A bunch of episodes are going to be going up uh, between today and tomorrow and more throughout the weekend. We're also going to start putting up Operency up on YouTube as well. So, you guys go to youtube.com slash bogotter to catch up on old uh, playthroughs. One second. All right. So now we've got the boots. No, there's treasure over here. I see you. Oh, and there's the portal. Whoop. Oh, that's nice. They put us right back. That's where we were. Did we? Were we done in there? Uh oh. We were done down here, right? I think so. Have I ever played Divinity 2? Um, I actually played a few streams of that. Get your gold ready. New stock has arrived. Not a finger. We played a few streams of that at the end of, uh, like, November last year. Um, I've since offline been going through Divinity Original Sin 1 with Azaria. We've been playing through the whole game. We actually got to the third big map last night, which was super fun. Uh, we started getting our butt kicked. Um, we may eventually return to Divinity 2 in some form. Will Borderlands with Peachy make it to YouTube at some point as well? I'm not sure. I'm not sure. You're supposed to get 30 centimeters of snow on Sunday, Merm? Oh my gosh. Can it be spring for you guys already? Jump in Jehoshaphat. Oh, sorry. You won't find better prices in all of Operencia. Crystal Seriously. Staff is new. Have you even seen another place to buy weapons? 17,000 for Crystal Staff. 20% energy. 20% energy. What does this give me? 12% energy. Alright, we're going to buy that. We'll buy it. You look like you're in a buying mood. Yes, I am in a buying mood. There we go. Boop. Pretty good staff. All right, Kayla. Kayla gained a level, so let's level her up. What are we getting her? Physical damage bonus, lightning resistance, strength. Energy cost, uh... I guess we'll just bolster her stuff. Physical damage bonus, 10%. Let's do it. She does use this dark spell. What does it do? Your underworld skills have a 30% fear chance. Last night, uh, yes, last night's Divinity Session did end with Azaria killing everyone, throwing my controller, and laying on the couch. Yes, that's true. True. We did have a rage quit last night. <laughs> we got to a brand new zone, the first fight. So we just, we were, we were in the second zone in Divinity. We were fighting a whole bunch of these sand spiders, and we're in the middle of a sandstorm. 
And the sandstorm makes it so your parties are your party is slowed. You can only do like one action a turn. And we're so sick of fighting these spiders in the sandstorm. We finally get to the new zone. And it's all like peaceful and forest-like. No more, no more sandstorm. And the first fight we get into is a whole bunch of mud spiders. Wasn't it last night? I can't remember. Yeah, it was a whole bunch of mud spiders. Yeah. And the very first fight was these mud spiders, and they kicked our butt. They kicked our butt. It was her arrow. Oh, yeah, it was her arrows. Okay, yeah, we had different rage quits. <laughs> the game's hard. The game's hard, but it's super fun. We gonna play more tonight, Azaria? Friday night's the night that I uh, I don't work at night, like no work. Remind me, I gotta do I gotta do my taxes this weekend, or I gotta send them to my my buddy. Let's see just how nimble these boots truly make us. What caused your rage quit? If there is like a slight incline in uh, the terrain. Wait, hold on. Let me get away from that. That's annoying. There's a slight incline in the terrain when you're shooting like a ranged ability in Divinity. Your, your shots will go right into the terrain and not hit the monsters. But there's not a good indication in, in the game of whether or not you're firing your arrows are going to hit. Like the rock ahead of you or like the enemy. So Azari used her most powerful spell on a bunch of enemies. And like the, the spell she shoots like rapid fire like 10 times. And I think like seven or eight of the arrows went into the rock. It was a hill. How do you guys handle the NPCs in co-op? Do you each control one NPC or you just have one of you handle all of it? We, we split the party. So I have... My character plus Jahan. And Azaria uses her character plus Bear Daughter. Ah, oh, here we go. Hello, everybody. Now we can get past this part. Because we go slow. Ow! I still got hurt because I'm an imbecile. Ow! Oh, I don't know how this is supposed to work. See, I'm such a uh, completionist. I want to map this whole area. Safety. Take me home tonight. Oh, damn it. I'm not very patient for this part. Ow! Oh, look, the boots on the top right are running out. All right, let's go here and recharge our boots. And I'm also going to give Chiva her mana back so she can mass heal us. All right, you guys ready? Sound effects a little annoying, huh? Ah. All right, here's one way to go. Hey, Rowan, what's going on? Sorry, says the only thing I would change about that game is the speed. I wish we moved a little faster. Maybe that's just those type of games. Yeah, your characters do move a little slow, and the maps are really big, so sometimes it's 
annoying to get around. The axe of the Iron Eater, there it is. I have never felt more alive than when we were dodging those stakes. And look, the axe of the Iron Eater. Why is he called that? The Iron Eater is said to boast enough strength in his hands to knead iron, oh. as you or I with clay. And this is his axe. So he isn't someone who needs iron, like, in order to live. <laughs> Get away from me. <laughs> She's just like, I'm done with you. Yoska. Oh, man. Get away from me. Get away from me, you slimy little. All right, we're going to get Slong of the Hero. Uh, okay, let's give her... There we go. We can rest here. Running out of firewoods. Can always buy more. Now, sadly, was there's another way to go. There's a couple other ways to go. So we're gonna go back in there, as annoying as this is. Did I save it, by the way? I think I did. Turn that heat off. I was just about to ask, like... Can you open, is it cold in the house? Yeah? All right, can you open that window? And then we can turn the heat on, because it's, I'm dying What's, in here. What is the heat at? Six, I just put it on 64 or so. Jesus Christ! Because it's, it, uh, is, okay, it, no, is it not it. like roasted in here? You know what? It's I'm okay. gonna put it up to 66. No, 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 it's okay, it's okay. I have the heater on, it's just taking a while to warm up. Okay. This came out of the blue. Huh? The rain and the cold. So I will, I will tell you guys this. When I'm done streaming, I will often go into <laughs> the TV room or whatever you want to call the it. Den. Where, the den where Azaria nests with the dog. And the door will be closed to that room, and she'll have this, like, space heater radiator on. I would be surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if it was 15 degrees warmer in that room. She makes Probably. it like a furnace in there. Probably. That's if there crazy. was a bowl with hot rocks on top of it, add a little bit of water, <laughs> it would turn into a sauna. There you go. It really would. All right, we have to go back into that annoying section. Oh, look at, oh no, why are they put lightning bugs here now? Oh, look, it stopped. Oh, but now there's fights. Great. Great. Oh. Kavis Boger. Hello. Did I say your name right? Probably not, but that's a cool name. Welcome to the stream. Lightning bugs. They're lightning and stun immune. These guys are my nemesis. All right, well, I guess we'll fireball everybody. And we'll use this. A funny story. Well, I don't know if it's funny, but a little story about how warm I keep that other room. The other day, not the other day, a couple weeks ago, I was trying to uh, proof some bread that I had just made. And I needed a warm room of the house to put it in, and no one, nowhere was warm. Everywhere was freezing except for that one room. And I was able to get it to to proof in like, I don't know, like half hour. What does proof mean? Huh? Proof? It's you're like activating the yeast, and the oh. bread. So like you know how you get kind of like how it rises, how the dough rises. Yeah, I've dough. never activated yeast before. Oh. Okay. Is that how you pronounce that name? Kavis Boger? Caves B Ogre? I don't know how to say the name. It's pretty cool though. Caves Bogri. Charm all enemies for two turns. Here we go. Ah! How do you say your name? Did that work? I just said Bog. I said Caves, Caves Bogri. Because you're bog, you know? But there's an ogre at the end. Cavus boger. Are you sure about that? Yeah. No, Tito. What no. Did you say? Proof. I was saying proof. The dough needs to proof. I need proof of this proof. He's 
Dude, you're such a pain. You're such a pain. <laughs> what a bastard sword. Longer than the short sword, but not quite as long as the long sword. Okay. It's a bastard sword. Wouldn't it be cool if they just called it like the Jon Snow? Ugh, there's so many lightning bugs. The Jon Snow sword. Yeah. Everybody would know. It's a Hungarian word. You're pro pronouncing it is okay, I think. Kavasboger? What does it mean? And Sadabus Paitash to you. Eight nutmeg. Ed nutmeg. <laughs> but that that's just a random phrase with no Sadabus Paitash, we can welcome them. No, I know. But I just <laughs> Ed Nutmeg is <laughs> The lame is. It means coffee mug? Oh my god! Covis Boger! I'm gonna call it that from now on. Covis Boger. Covis Boger? Yep. But nice. I'm never gonna say it on stream so that I don't embarrass myself with the butchering of the correct pronunciation. I like charming them. I wonder if fireballing them after I charm them gets rid of the charm. It might. No, they're still charmed. An AoE charm spell is is a little game breaking, isn't it? Like I charmed them all. They have they don't even know what to do. It's like they're all attacking each other. Look at that. Quit hitting yourself. Quit hitting yourself. Should have stayed home. I don't think they have home. The fireflies. All around us. Death. Death by chocolate. <laughs> and we got ambushed again. The middle world must survive. Is Yoska human? Yeah. Hey, we charm. Um Do you want to stir in or down? Just fight. Fight! Hit him. Where's my cursor? I lost my cursor. The female voice actor sounds like Azari. Which one? Kayla or Chila? Is my cursor. Okay. It was an honor. And a privilege. Steel boots. All right, now we can go this way. The names are my favorites in the game. It's very funny to hear these names in a game with English language. Yeah, well, it's a, you know, the Zen Studios is, uh, is in Hungary. So they've named a lot of the characters. Meze, Chila, Joska, Campo, Kayla. What? Chila. Chila. Really? Yeah. Chila. Meze. Chila. Yoska. Okay. Chila. Isn't that cool? That's you would cool. say Casilla. <laughs> Her name's Casilla. <laughs> Chila. Hussar Saber. 
Uh, it's the Hussar Saber. Wow, they actually say that's for Chila? That would be actually better. I'm not gonna equip that. It's not gonna be better. They lie. You lie. Bam. 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 We are supremely overpowered right now. This spell is ridiculous. Like, she should have a charm one character spell, you know? She sh we never even got a charm one enemy spell in the game. She we went right to charm all enemies for two turns. You know what I mean? Because I just hit this, and now they're all on my team. <laughs> they didn't resist. None of them resisted. So now there's no danger. Oh, I just used the lightning spell on them. They're oh, okay, but it does frost too. Okay, so it's okay. Actually hit them. And I literally just don't need to do anything. I can just... Now they're gonna kill each other. Actually, they don't really hurt each other too, too much because they're lightning immune. It's pretty funny. Just fireball them. You could use a resurrection spell now. What a waste of life. 18 months? Double, Double twitch, twitch, baby! All the way! What does it mean? The Corley with the 18 months. It's Corley. Thank you so much, sir. Sebastian's real name is Sebastian. 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 Hype the love in the chat for Corley's 18 month resub. If you are new to the stream and having fun, consider hitting that follow button on the top right hand corner. It's a little heart symbol. Click it. Click it real good. It'll put hair on your lip. Not really. You don't want hair on your lip. Sure you do. You, you made hair it. On your lip? I oh, must admit, jar. you're starting to impress me. Ooh. What is your business here, Boldijar? Simple She really. says his name the best. You Boldijar. I intend to destroy it. Ah, it is nearly indestructible. I have my methods, but they may not even be necessary once I destroy something else first. You. <laughs> was that his, was that his attempt at being clever? Beware. All right, we didn't get a chance to really rest and prepare for this fight. Okay. All right. Alaska, you're making homemade beef stew? Nice. All right, here we go. We didn't have a lot of time to pre prepare for this. Prepare me the way of the Boldajar. Mass heal. I should have charmed him. Let's summon an elemental. Warrior. I can't. Not like you can in Divinity. Thor! And a taunt. Is he taunted? Looked like it. It looked like it worked. Should I charm him? Now let's do this. Give your back mana. Let's do the 21% chance to kill instantly. Oh, didn't get him. Okay. Buff everybody. They char buffing stuff. We stun him. Oh, I think he's stun immune. Rapple Dapple! Or is it Razzle Dazzle? I think it's Razzle Dazzle. Alright, here we go. I thank you for the sparring match. Oh, he's gonna run away but again. Now your true test begins. Oh, come on, Boldajar. Farewell. Are you kidding me? Did he just leave? Again. The coward. He will die. And soon. Hey, how about we concentrate on focusing our murder on this big red rock thing first? 
Sound good? <laughs> what? He peed. That's the second time we didn't get to kill him. Damn. Twilight. May's monthly early unlock is Assassin's Creed Origins. Oh, nice. That's the one that takes place in Egypt, guys. Wow. Okay. So what basically Twilight is saying is if you go to Humble, to type exclamation point Humble, click the link. For $12 a month, and you can cancel after one month, they send you $1 to $200 worth of games to your inbox. Now, most of them are hidden in secret. You don't know what you're going to be getting. It's kind of like a, like a grab bag. You don't get to know what they, they, they're going to give you until the, the beginning of next month. However, they send you a couple early unlock titles, usually. This month, it's Assassin's Creed Origins. So if you want Assassin's Creed Origins and a whole bunch of other games for just 12 bucks, some, sign up for the Humble Monthly. Use my link. It'll support the stream. And if you only want it for that one month, cancel it. After the, you know, as soon as you sign up, you can cancel it immediately. You'll still get your games, and you get 10% off all the stuff in the Humble Store while you're a Humble Monthly member. That's a great, great incentive right there. $12 for that game. Yeah. I have to nail that guy's feet to the floor. I know he keeps running. And look, he left this jerk with me. They have to beat. He looks pretty cool, though. They do really good fire effects. I'll admit it, I'm impressed. All right, so he's high resist, lightning sensitive, though. He's immune to control. All right, let's let's test his sensitivity to lightning. Actually, I'm gonna use this on Sheila. Let's get her mana back. Brute force. Oh man, he was. He did not care about that spell too much. Okay. Bingy. Frost. Rocks. I had a feeling that wasn't going to do much damage. Eh. Talk. You're planning beef chimichangas tonight for di dinner, Rosewolf? Mmm, yummy. Alaska's got meatloaf on the brain. Roswell says, don't forget to cancel it. You thought it was just buy one month and done and renewed the next month. It is. It is a subscription. If anybody gets anything from Humble Monthly that you know yourself aren't going to be able to use or play, you're not interested, um, and you have no friends or family that might want them, you can send them uh, to us on Discord. You can send them to me on Discord, and we'll put it in the game vault to use for giveaways. In fact, while we fight this, would you guys want to get do a giveaway? You got paradise by the natural lights because you have meatball on the brain? That's meatloaf. Oh, you have meatloaf on the brain, not meatball. Okay. Kavis Boger, thanks for uh, following. Let's do it. A generous bestowal. There we go. Somebody just snagged the Humble Monthly using my link. Thank you so much. Enjoy Assassin's Creed Origins for 12 bucks. That's so good. All right. Hold on. We're in the middle of the fight. I know. I know. But let's kick off a giveaway just for fun. Just because you guys are an awesome community. Let's do it. All right. Game from the game vault. Game from the vault. If you're new to the stream, how this works is... You type exclamation point vault, you see a list of probably over 200 games we have in the vault. Winner of this raffle gets to choose any game from the vault, and I'll send it to you this weekend. Okay? Uh, you have to spend your clams. Type exclamation point clams to see how many clams you have. You can spend up to 500 clams in this raffle. Type 
exclamation point raffle space and the name and the number of clams up to 500 and we'll pick the winner in just a minute or two anyone here also a patreon person a lot of people i would think that was you dragon tears thank you so much i hope you enjoy it yeah that's great I think that comes with the uh, the his the history like learning mode where you could just explore Egypt without all like the combat and the quests and stuff like that, and they tell you all about the different landmarks. All right, here we go. Um. Hippo silly. That's right. It's also the hippo silly guy. Hippo silly. Got a taste for exotic meat, if you know what I mean. Hippo silly. <laughs> That's the best. I love that. I don't know what to do. This guy. He's not dying. Gang. He's not dying. He's starting to piss me off. Poison? He's immune to poison. Ow! Fireball, I guess? I don't know, he's already on fire. Perfect strike! All right. FPS. I it scrolled off the screen before I could see it. Hold on. This game I have to alt tab, which is stinkeroni. Uh, except I played it in full screen. Neo report the bar is quite good. It leaves a bit of an odd lingering aftertaste, but it's easy to remove with a handful of nuts. Overall, eight of ten would recommend. All right, I'm glad you enjoy it, man. You have to have a handful of nuts nearby, though, huh? <laughs> I have no handful of nuts. I'm gonna have my bar soon. You think you missed the hippo silly thing? It's from Assassin's Creed uh, Origins. This guy, this really creepy guy comes onto the screen. He's like, he's like, you know, I have a quite the taste for exotic meats. And he's all like creepy about it. And then he goes, hippo silly. What did you think I meant? Just a little palate cleanse. Yo bar. All right. Um kind of need mass heal. Regenerate. Oh, here's we go. Lightning spells back. There we go. May your souls never see the light of the upper world. Oh yeah, and his walk. When he walks off, he's like, <laughs> that guy's so good. Gladiator armor. Boy, Dijat, he got away. Oh. Yes, but so did his plans to destroy this tree. We can return the branch to Hodor. Sebastian, if you don't mind. It would be my pleasure, friend. All right, let's go save it. Rest. Save. But yeah, probably one of the best protein bars I've had. I'll have Mrs. Monkey try it tonight. We'll most likely be reordering. Oh, thank you so much, man. Yeah, I, I love them. I honestly love them. These are our new sponsor, in case anybody doesn't know what we're talking about. They're Neo Bars. They have 90 calories, only one gram of protein. 
And uh, I'm sorry, 90 calories, only one gram of sugar, but eight grams of protein. Really good snack. And you can get 10% off if you use Bog Otter on Amazon in the promotional code section. And that way it counts as a sale for, uh, for our campaign here. All right. So do we want to cut this open? Do we have anything else? There's actually another way to go over here. Let's check that out first before we do this. Just to be completionists. Uh -huh. ah, what the flip is that? What the? I just rested. Ow! Why are we getting zapped? There's a secret here. Recipe. And now it's all deactivated. It's okay, only two of our characters died. It's fine. This is fine. What the hell was that? That was so rude. It's okay, we only had multiple deaths. Multiple deaths. That'll teach you from being a completionist, right, Magic? Every little thing she does is magic. All right, um, rest. Yes. You know, down to six firewood. I'm, I've been using a lot of them. I've been, I've been, uh. Rather judicious with using them. Um. Snake staff. Oh, it's a different wand. Ash wand. No, it's a staff, right? No, what did I just get? What was it? Crystal wand. 55 intelligence. She doesn't have a 55 and Oh, she doesn't have enough intelligence. Wow, okay. That's why. Crystal wand's not really better. I like the lifesteal better. Oh, don't forget the giveaway. Thank you. Thank you. Evil Twin Link. The winner of the game for the game vault is... Boop! Stouffer! Stouffer has been on a win streak with the giveaways. Holy cow. Stouffer. Send me a message on Discord. And let me know what game from the vault you'd like. That's right. You did tell us. You win more stuff here than... <laughs> Anywhere else in your life, right? We have two new potions. This one looks like one we will use. Actually, maybe this one, too. All right, this is how you make new potions in this game. Thanks, Dofer. You have to figure out this little puzzle, and then you can make this uh, potion. So this revives an incapacitated character and heals 100%. Healing plant comes second. Okay. The poison in one does not need it at all. Okay. The mountain plant comes right after the waterfront one. The mountain plant. So we'll just, we'll put it here even though it might not be this. You are forbidden to put the field petal in the mix last. Okay. So that puts the field there. And that also puts petal here. But this is not true for the antibiotic root. The antibiotic root therefore is last. Root. Antibiotic. 
A fungus is needed, but it's not the first. Okay. And we don't need poison, so this is a sedative. Craft. Got it. And then the specter dust. Ooh, this is a complex one. You absolutely should not leave the root for last, nor a plant with poisonous properties. Also, no woodlands plant can come last. All right, I don't think we should place anything yet. For the first ingredient, use neither a crop nor any plant with healing properties or from the field. Wow, okay, this is tough. Because it's not telling us what we need, it's telling us what we don't need. The poisonous fungus has to come right before the antibiotic crop, but it shouldn't be first. All right, so let's try this. Poison fungus has to come right before the antibiotic crop and it's not first we'll see if this works the sedative and antibiotic plants should not be last okay so healing is last and sedative is first let's try that add plants hailing from the field the woodland and mountain to the mix all in that order Field, woodland, and mountain, and then waterfront. You absolutely should not leave the roots for last, okay? Petal last, roots first. Let's make sure it all fits. Actually, let's just try to craft it. That's not right, something's wrong. You absolutely should not leave the roots for last, we didn't. Nor a plant with poisonous, we didn't. Also, no woodlands plants can come last, we didn't. Hey, Pecunius, what's up, how you doing? For the first ingredient, I'm not sure if you saw Pecunias, but somebody on Discord was asking for... Piggy Fluff, did they get an invite? Do you know? I don't know if Piggy Fluff's still here. Somebody was looking for an invite to Guild Wars 2. But in any case, uh, for the first ingredient, use neither a crop nor any plant with healing or from the field. Okay, so field can't be here. So I'm going to switch waterfront to here. Mountain, woodland, field, craft. There it is. So not only position count, but how you put in it in count. No, you could set it up in any order you want. As long as it's in the right place at the end. If that makes sense. All right, we got our two new potions. In fact, I think I want to swap some of these potions out. So who would get the full heal plus res? Let's get a full heal plus res with Meze. And then what does she got? She's got the remove all dots. Let's get the, let's get the lightning damage one. There we go. I love those puzzles, they're fun. This will be very heavy. Let's only cut it once we know we're ready to, tur to turn. All right, we finished this, right? 99% of the map. Where's the one spot we didn't? Over here? No, I want to finish the map because I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. Oh, God. Nornit! Nornit! It's over here, right? Got it! Map fully explored, 500 experience. Staff of the Frozen Fire Book of Ice. See, like that. We would never have found that if I wasn't a completionist. What good does that do? I have no idea. Do we want it? Maybe. Nah. Sure. Sure. Why not? 